What's up YouTube, Teddy Westside here for another video and today I got something that I definitely was not planning on recording today. Um, I was just out in a very very bad rainstorm. Uh, it's pouring down rain where I live right now and the, actually it's so bad that the town that I live in which is you know mostly a hill because we're in Pennsylvania there's mountains everywhere but the town that I live in is actually flooding right now and I had to drive through some of the main streets that you know had standing water and one of the number one questions that I've gotten about my car since I put on the Cobb intake was, are you worried about water getting into the intake? And quite frankly, when I bought the intake, no, I didn't care at all. I thought, you know, Cobb would have done the research in order to know that this wouldn't happen. But the more that you guys ask me, the more that I got worried. And driving home today, I got super worried. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pop the hood. And we're going to check out and see what has gone on with the car and see where the water was getting to. Now, one thing I do want to make a note of is the stock intake was actually designed to allow water to go into it. Or if water did get into it, it wouldn't ruin the car. It had ways where the water would get out of the intake instead of going through the filter into the turbo and then eventually into your engine. Um, obviously, you can see that the car has made it home. I'm home safe too, so we made it. The car's not broken yet. I can turn it on right now and it'll work per perfectly fine. I do want to see, you know, if water got into the intake and where it is going and, you know, see if the the uh, air filter is a little bit damp. If the air filter is damp, that means it got water. Um, I'm going to try to make this video quick because it's 100 degrees in my garage right now. You can probably see and feel the sweat dripping from your computer but uh yeah i'm i'm dying right now so let's pop the hood and let's see what we are working with and i'll give you guys some tips and trades on the cob intake to let you know what's going on and how it works okay so the hood is popped and you can see right away that there is no water these little drops which you can probably barely see but these little drops just came as i opened up the hood and they drip from below so the good news is is as we see right now there's no water really on the intake in the engine bay um, a little bit of water does get through here but as you can kind of see in the difference of the color this front part is wet but not the back part um, it does go all the way so it does look like a little bit of water made its way past this little bridge um, but we will take off this top and see if it actually made it to the air filter. Okay, so now the filter is exposed. I brought a flashlight here so that we can do a little bit more investigating. Um, but yes, it is looking like really no water made its way all the way through to the filter. I'm going to feel it now. Filter feels perfectly normal. No issues at all. Does not feel wet, does not feel like any moisture got into it. Um, so yeah, I am willing to say with 100% certainty now that water will not get into your Cobb filter with the Cobb intake for the Mark 7 GTI. Now one thing I do want to make a note to you guys is in one of my previous videos, I talked about these little holes and why there were no rubber gar garments. Well. After this whole little experience, I kind of realized that I think, now don't quote me because I don't work for Cobb and I never asked them, but I think that one of the reasons why this is open is in case you do get any water in here, instead of it going all the way up into the intake and sitting in here and pulling up into the intake, it'll actually just go out that little hole and then drain down the bottom of the car. And I'm pretty sure that's how the stock intake sort of worked as well. It had a similar mechanism. Um, hey, look, there's one of my little rubber pieces from the coolant line. I'll have to fix that. I do hate that. That thing falls off every time. And it's always this side. It's never that side. It's always this side. Anywho, I digress. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I know it was super short, but again, it's like 90 degrees in my garage. I'm sweating. Not a whole lot of other stuff that I could talk about for this whole thing. My camera's even fogging up. That's how hot it is in here. So I'm going to get going. It's late. I'm tired. I'm going to get everything put back together, maybe edit this video and get it up for you guys. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Comment down below any questions. If you have something similar like this, if you want to know if water gets into an intake or how anything else has been performing for me, I will gladly make a video of it. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good one. I'm <laughs> sorry.